Welcome to Metal Cross. In the wake of the recent natural disasters, financial ruin across the globe, especially turmoil in the Middle East, I began to wonder how much longer mankind is going to survive. It seems that we just keep getting worse and worse with each generation. Is the end right around the corner? How soon before it's all over? To look into the future regarding the end times, there's no better source than the book of prophecy, the last book of the Bible, Revelation. It reveals to us that we will not destroy ourselves after all. God will. When Jesus came to earth the first time 2,000 years ago, it was to save mankind as the Lamb of God. Sacrifice for our sins as we have all had the opportunity to accept the free gift of salvation through him ever since. But the next time Jesus comes to earth, referred to as his second coming, it will be as a conqueror. Whose side will you be on on that day? Hebrews 10.31 says, It is a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. The book of Revelations, chapter 1, verse 3 reads, Blessed is the one who reads the words of this prophecy. Blessed are those who hear it and take to heart what is written in it, because the time is near. Everyone likes to talk about how God loves us and forgives us. That's all true. But no one wants to talk about what God will do to his enemies in the near future. The utter destruction that Jesus and his army will unleash will be incomprehensible. And there is nothing that we can do to stop it. God's patience with us is running out. Second Peter 3.10 says, But the day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with a roar, the elements will be destroyed by fire, and the earth and everything in it will be laid bare. Please, God loves you, but it is your choice whether to accept his free gift of salvation. Run away from the flames of God's wrath and run to the water of his grace. If you desire to have a personal relationship with God, all it takes is a simple prayer like this. God, please, I do not want to be your enemy any longer. Forgive me of my sins. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins and rose again on the third day. Jesus, come into my heart, and from this day forward, I want to live my life for you. You are my Lord and Savior. Save me, Jesus. Amen. If you prayed that prayer from your heart, you are saved. That is what God promises in his holy word. It's that simple. Welcome to the kingdom. Life will 